Welcome to the enchanting world of the Ice Festival, where the town square is alive with the sounds of laughter and music. The air is crisp, and the ground beneath is a tapestry of ice, crackling underfoot. Lanterns cast a soft glow, illuminating the intricate ice sculptures that tell the town's rich history. This is a place where community and celebration come together, creating a warmth that envelopes everyone present. Join us as we delve into the heart of this festival, where stories of the past and present intertwine in a dance of shadows and light. Stay tuned to Storyteller for an unforgettable journey through Chapter 3. As the ice festival reached its peak, Clara stood at the center of the celebration. Her breath mingled with the frosty air, a visible testament to the chill that surrounded her. Yet, it was the warmth of camaraderie that truly enveloped her, a comforting presence amidst the vibrant festivities. The intricate ice sculptures, each a masterpiece, glimmered under the lantern's glow. Clara's gaze was drawn to a towering phoenix, its wings unfurled in a magnificent display. It was a symbol of rebirth, mirroring Clara's own journey. The echoes of her mother's legacy whispered through the icy tendrils, urging Clara to embrace her individuality. But nearby, the specter of Tommy loomed, his piercing blue eyes reflecting a tempest of emotions. Jealousy, rivalry, and an unspoken desire for redemption swirled within him. As the festival's energy swirled around them, Clara and Tommy were drawn into a confrontation that had been simmering beneath the surface. The crowd parted, anticipation hanging in the air, as if the very atmosphere crackled with the tension of their unresolved conflict. In the heart of the festival, amidst the laughter and music, a confrontation unfolded. Clara and Tommy stood at the center, the crowd forming a circle around them, anticipation thick in the air. Clara's heart raced, a drumbeat of uncertainty echoing within her. Tommy's voice cut through the noise, sharp and accusatory. You think you can just step into my mother's shoes? He challenged. Clara felt the sting of his words, a reminder of her insecurities. But instead of retreating, Clara squared her shoulders, drawing strength from the warmth of her friends, Finn and Evelyn. I'm not trying to be her, Tommy. I'm trying to be me, Clara replied, her voice steady and strong. The crowd held its breath, the moment suspended in time. Tommy's expression shifted, the anger in his eyes giving way to something softer, a flicker of understanding. I just wanted to be recognized, to be seen as more than just your mother's shadow. He admitted vulnerability cracking through his bravado. Clara recognized the pain behind his words, the longing for validation that mirrored her own struggles. In that moment, the tension began to dissolve, replaced by a fragile thread of connection. As the festival continued, Clara and Tommy found common ground, their rivalry transforming into a partnership. The community, witnessing this shift, began to rally around them, the spirit of the festival igniting a sense of unity. Clara felt the warmth of acceptance wash over her, a balm for her insecurities. Together, Clara and Tommy unveiled a new sculpture, a breathtaking fusion of their styles. A phoenix rising from the ice, symbolizing not just their individual growth, but the beauty of shared experiences. The crowd erupted in applause, the sound echoing through the square, a celebration of life, art, and the power of community. Clara stood amidst the cheers, realizing she had carved her own path, one that honored her mother's legacy while embracing her unique voice. The festival, with its shimmering ice and vibrant spirit, had become a canvas for new beginnings, a testament to the beauty of collaboration and the echoes of the past that would forever shape their futures.